All right, so in a lot of my videos, I always tell you guys when you're hooking up a power inverter, always use good quality wiring. And the reason I use New Concepts wiring is because this stuff here is really just bulletproof. It is oxygen free copper and it has a tin coating on there. And if you're wondering why do you need a wire that's got the tin coating on there, that's because, you know, that tin coating is to protect it against, uh, you know, wet environments so it doesn't, you know, tarnish. And, you know, everybody knows that copper pennies tarnish they go from shiny to dull looking and so you know in order for it to be really conductive you want a nice clean shiny metal and so that's what that tin solder coating does is, is keeps that wire from you know getting all dull looking so uh, anyways uh, this uh, one all wire here has a uh, 5145 strands of oxygen free copper this stuff is rated at 375 amps I went ahead and cut it there and I'm gonna pull it apart for you and show you look at that I mean 5,145 strands of wire and you would think with the wire being this thick that the jacket wouldn't be very flexible you can see right there that that is a uh, very flexible jacket. it's uh, a PVC and so you know you can't do that with welding wire and so that, I mean that's why I use this uh, new concepts Colossus flex wire now check this out when you go to, to cut it you can see right here on the end that's been cut that it, it shows that it's uh, that copper color but then here on the side you can see that it's tin it has that silver color so not only would you use this for like power inverters and things like that but you could also use it in a boat to wire up your batteries wire up a trolling motor you guys that you know, do the kayaking and stuff like that and hook up your your trolling motors use a wire like this you definitely don't want to have a wire that's not able to hold up to uh, water and all that you don't want that wire to break down because you start a fire out on your kayak you're kind of in trouble you get a hole burnt in your kayak you're going to the bottom so uh, you know this stuff is is really awesome i have this hooked up to my gmc sierra i have a 375 amp mechman alternator this is what is hooked up to it and then going to my battery and so this stuff is amazing i'm gonna go ahead and cut through it just so you guys can get an idea of how many strands of wire is in this i mean it's amazing and I'm using these little razor cutters. This seems to cut it pretty good. It seems to do a pretty good job at cutting this. I mean, look at that. I mean, you drop that in the floor, guys, and you got a mess. It's about time for another blade in this thing, but usually it does a pretty good job once I got a fresh blade in here. But you got to see, I mean, look at that. Look at all that wire. I mean, this is a, a one aught. Like I said, it rated for 375 amps. This stuff's good from uh, negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 221 degrees Fahrenheit. I mean, look at that. I mean, that is a chunk, a chunk of wire. And, you know, keep in mind, whenever you're, you know, hooking uh, your, your power inverters and things like that up, a lot of these Chinese companies are just using, you know, cheap wires and, you know, it overheats those power inverters and it causes those wires to get super hot. You end up burning your damn house down. So I don't understand, you know, why people don't use good wiring. You know, a lot of people say, oh, that wiring's too expensive. This stuff here is like $4.95 a foot, and this is the best wiring on the market. This stuff has a lot more copper in it than, you know, let's say some of your other um, higher-end uh, car audio wires. And if you don't believe me, uh, check it out. Call them and ask them. Say, hey, how many strands of copper is in your one art wire? And see if there's 5,145 strands in there and, you know, see how much it is price per foot. Like I said, this is $4.95 per foot on the uh, New Concepts website. I'll put a link for, for the name in the description because it's spelled kind of funny. Uh, New Concepts is spelt with a K, so uh, the spelling on the, the name is a little bit funny. But like I said, I'll put a link in the description and you can compare, you know, I, Stinger and uh, Jail Audio and Rockford Falsgate and all these car audio brands that sells uh, these wires, you know, they've got similar ones on there, but you're going to pay more per foot. And I just don't understand why people don't, you know, just use this new concepts wire. It's cheaper and it's really the best wiring on that you can find. I think it's the best on the planet. I've been using it for several years now and I'm just really impressed with it. I mean, look at that. 
this stuff is very very conductive and i can tell a difference whenever i you know hook up a power inverter and you know i, I use those cheap chinese wires and they're usually undersized and then i'll use my wires um, that's uh got the, the new concepts wire with some copper uh, lugs on the end and it drastically changes the temperature of the power inverters and it run, makes you know things run a lot cooler just simply because you've got a lot less uh heat build up in the wire so all right guys i'm gonna get off my soapbox but appreciate you guys watching this here is the new concepts colossus flex wire see ya